and now India has overtaken the UK and is the fifth largest economy in the world. It is the fastest growing large economy in the world, 1.4 billion people, 75 years of democracy, a young country, a growth rate of 8.7% in the last financial year, and it has contributed one out of ten unicorns with over a hundred unicorns. It is a country that is the fourth largest producer of renewable energy and solar power, and in every aspect is just going from strength to strength, including during the pandemic, where it produced billions of vaccines with the Serum Institute of India, uh, partnering with Oxford and AstraZeneca. The UK-India Free Trade Agreement is well advanced, uh, and uh, although our trade at the moment is only £29.6 billion, pounds, India is only the 12th largest trading partner of the UK. So that is not good enough. It should be so much more. Everyone wants to do business with India. We need to go the extra mile. And I conclude with this. Narendra Modi, as a boy, sold tea at his father's tea stall at a railway station in Gujarat. Today, Narendra Modi is one of the most powerful people on this planet as Prime Minister of India. Today, India has a presidency of the G20. Today, India has a vision in the next 25 years to be the second largest economy in the world with a GDP of $32 billion. The Indian Express has left the station. It is now the fastest train in the world, the fastest growing major economy in the world. The UK must be the closest and trusted friend of partner of India in the decades ahead.